Intel's attempt to break into the GPU market with the Arc Alchemist series in 2022 didn't go as planned. The initial models were met with mixed reviews, citing driver issues and subpar software support. As a result, the venture was widely regarded as below average by the standard, but Intel isn't giving up. In 2024, they're set to introduce the second generation of Arc Battle Mage GPUs, aiming to rectify past mistakes and re-establish their footing in the graphics space. The new lineup promises enhanced performance, better driver support, and more competitive pricing. With these improvements, Intel hopes to capture a larger share of the market and provide a viable alternative to established GPU brands like Nvidia and AMD. So, will this be the breakthrough Intel needs to succeed in the GPU market? When Intel launched its inaugural Arc Alchemist GPUs in 2022, expectations were high. The company's reputation for processors had many hoping for a formidable new player in the graphics industry. However, reality fell short of these lofty aspirations. Driver instabilities plagued early adopters, while performance metrics failed to match those of similarly priced competitors. The series, which was meant to be Intel's battle cry, ended up being more of a scream. Intel, not one to throw in the towel after a single setback, has reportedly been burning the midnight oil to address the shortcomings of its first attempt. According to industry experts, the company has poured significant resources into driver development and hardware refinement. The question on everyone's mind, will it be enough? According to XDA, the revelation came during an interview with PC World where Peterson confirmed that the next-gen Arc GPUs will likely debut before CES 2025. According to him, the company is already testing the first batch of Battle Mage Silicon in its labs, where around 30% of the Arc GPU team is working on its software. The rest of the engineers, including almost the entire hardware team, have moved on to Celestial, which is expected to be the successor to Battle Mage. This is the first time that Intel has officially announced its Battle Mage plans, but a couple of months ago, the company unwittingly revealed that its next-generation graphics cards could launch in 2024. The full pass came during the Meteor Lake launch event in Japan, where the company showed off a presentation slide that revealed the company's 2024 product roadmap includes Battle Mage graphics cards. As for what we know about Intel Arc Battle Mage XE two discrete GPUs, there are two SKUs that have so far been confirmed, which include the BMG10 and BMG21. The former is the higher-end SKU, and the latter is the mid-range SKU. Both of these chips will be positioned in the XE2 HPG lineup, which represents the discrete GPU family. But there is also the Lunar Lake, which will host the XE2 LPG iGPU, featuring the same Battle Mage graphics architecture. These chips are also expected to make their debut later this year. Interestingly, while the G21 GPUs are in the pre-qualification stage, the G10 chips didn't have such a tag associated with them, making their release more questionable than ever. Finally, just a few days ago, Intel updated the source code of its One API DPC++ compiler. Inside the SYCL file, Team Blue created a code snippet for BMG G21. So leaving the G10 or G31 conundrum aside, we have enough reasons to presume that Intel will at least release the G21 this generation. If you found the chip names confusing, just wait until you see the XE core count for this generation. Initially, the flagship BMG G10 was expected to come with 64 XE cores, which would double the count of the Alchemist flagship, a 770 GPU. It was also rumored to have the same power consumption of 225 watts as the A770. However, earlier this year, Red Gaming Tech reported that the upcoming flagship would instead feature 56 XE cores. Later, they updated this information, which states that the count had been further reduced to 32 XE cores for the rumored G31 SKU. On the other hand, the specifications for the BMG G21 have been relatively stable, with this mid-range card anticipated to include 20 XE cores and a TDP of under 150 watts. WCCF Tech says, 
Another feature we could see debut alongside Battlemage XE2 gaming GPUs is Intel's very own XES frame generation, which is expected to utilize the frame extrapolation technique, which is the complete opposite of frame interpolation used by Nvidia's DLSS and AMD's FSR algorithms. Intel's Tom Peterson has already teased cool new technologies and architectural fixes for Battlemage a while back. While Nvidia is rumored to launch its upcoming Blackwell family with GDDR7 memory, Intel is likely to use the older GDDR6X memory for its Battlemage lineup. Despite this, it's still an improvement over the Alchemist series, which features GDDR6 memory. The VRAM size for the XE2 flagship will remain the same as the current A770. Additionally, the Battlemage series is expected to support the PCIe 5.0 interface, although the mid-range G21 model will likely only use an X8 bus width. Whether you're excited about the next-gen Intel GPUs or are holding your breath, let's hope the Battlemage family doesn't get hexed with terrible drivers like its Alchemist predecessor. After all, we've seen a wave of new floods on the internet since the beginning of the year. And Intel hasn't helped much by keeping all the cards close to its chest. Regardless, just the fact that we have a third competitor in the GPU wars is worth celebrating. If the Battle Mage series manages to provide solid performance, then Intel might just emerge as the dominant brand in the mid-range GPU market. Will Battle Mage rise from the ashes of its predecessor? Or will it be another false start for Intel? What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. Like, share and subscribe to get more videos like this.